to train to carry it the same way that the Chinese players are. Great to watch. Wang Yidi saves the game point. Yeah, this is a rocket rally here. You can see the fitness, the recovery every time from Wang Yidi. She just always seems to be comfortable and in position despite the speed of that rally. Superb, Wang Yi Di comes out on top again, 10 all. That was thrilling, I mean really, I could hear the orchestra playing the strings on this one as Wang Yi Di with every shot comes back in closer to the table. The focus on her face throughout that rally. Yeah. I mean, you'd think for Mew Hirano to have Wang Yi Di that far behind the table, there must be some way to take advantage and finish, but it's not easy. Yeah, you would have thought she'd be, she'd be on the front foot there, right? She, she just, tried. Yeah. Can finish it. Two points now. We need a winner. That's it. That's what she wants. Hey. Bit of surprise here with the mm -hmm. parallel backhand down the line to catch Wang Yi Di off guard, opening it up to the forehand. Again, players sometimes are going to be hesitant to test the forehand of the opponent unless they think they can get it past them, especially against Wang Yi Di. Drawn level again. Wang Yidi. Oh, talking about a person who only recently won bronze at the World Championships. Wang Yidi in Houston. Play, please. Quality, quality player. I guess that would have been alongside, I was going to say, Chun Meng. By the way, that was the third time the I said, get on with it. Yeah, at the top level, we see this between some of the top Chinese women. If it's a China-China women's battle, so much time is taken between serves because they want to be so clear on their plan, so specific with what they want to do. First ball to serve, third ball attack potentially. First game point here for Wang Yidi. And she converts. Wang Yidi. One. Still testing the waters here a bit, sort of trying some new tactics, seeing if the short game, bringing Wang Yidi in first, that'll get her trapped to be about out of position for the next attack. Wonderful reactions from both, but it's Two, Wang Yidi wins a point. You did bring up something interesting earlier in terms of Chinese rubber and equipment. I will say that because China has Two, produced love. so many very skilled coaches and so much knowledge that there are coaches all around the world from China yes. that make a great living in other places sharing their knowledge. And there are more people using Chinese style equipment. I mean, you go to any table tennis hall in the world and you'll find at least a handful of players with a racket that looks like it was pulled out of the hand of a Chinese national team player. And what you're saying, Adam, is that it's Love. If, if I held a, a Chinese racket and a non-Chinese racket, just from holding them, would I immediately sense the difference in terms you said the weight? Was it? If you were a tournament player, when you bounced the ball on it, you would right. notice the difference quickly. Otherwise, it would all look the same from okay. afar. Okay. Relatively, anyway, minus the color of the sponge a bit. A few subtle differences. One, four. First point on the board for Mi Hirano. It was a good start, wasn't it, for young Wang Yidi in this second game? Five. Back to one. restoring that four point deficit, that four point lead, I should say. Yeah, it looks like Miu Hirano's taking some chances, trying to go parallel where she can. Surprise factor is going to have to be high. It's not easy to hit the ball on the parallel because it's a much shorter distance, hence the shorter side of the table or the short side. 
<laughs> Wonderful backhand. Five, really nicely done. Two. Yep, found it here to the very corner where the two red lines meet. Normally they're white, but WTT, all sorts of innovations. It's just one of the smaller ones. Play, please. Little nudge again. So to be clear, Adam, it, all it is is just the umpire will just say, just get on with it, just get on. I mean, not that literally, but there's no... He's got a weapon. You okay. want to know what his weapon is? Go on. A yellow card. card. Now, what is it? What are the ramifications of that? It's dangerous. <laughs> then it's an official warning. I'll tell you more in a minute. So after the yellow card, if he presents another yellow card, it'll be a yellow and a red card, which means a point will be awarded to the opponent of the offender. And if it happens again, another yellow and red, that's two points for the As in opponent. an additional two. An additional two. Ah. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's devastating. That's enough to, one point's enough to change a match, but True. three, come on. So I guess my question is, when do you Seven, issue three. the first yellow? How many warnings? Would you need? Is that again subjective? It is. There have been five so far. And now another question is if they're all for the same person, yes. then it's much easier, right? They've all been for her. Interesting. Meanwhile, Eight, Wang Yi Di is five ahead. It'd be hilarious if he actually just forgot his yellow card so he can't take the next step. <laughs> just keeps warning her instead. <laughs> Please play. I'm serious. I mean, please play. This is good timing here. Mew Hirano quick and wide to the corner, follows up to the opposite corner, testing the footwork, drawing a little bit of space, getting Wang Yidi backed off. Five eight. Good return there no, from uh, Wang Yidi. No, this is tough to recover from. Wang Yidi comes around for a backhand on the forehand side. Look at where her weight is there, completely on the other side of the table without mm. the legs underneath. Clever play by Hirano to spot that and exploit it. Top edge from Wong. Seven, nine. Reducing the deficit here, Hirano. Yeah, good placement here. You can see here the body weight staying right behind the table after coming in one step, stays just behind that baseline for the rally. I think that might be her first warning. New Hirano. Game points now for Wang. See that little positive head shake there? And that is the second game that goes to Wang Yidi. Not as close as that first. This is, don't let her get any closer. Right. You still have enough room. Finish it now. Okay. So might as well use that timeout and just, just put get it, it over there. with. Yeah. And even if she loses this point... The timeout is not diffused. That's the beauty of having mm. a six-point lead, having 10-4. You can lose yeah. three in a row, have a timeout, lose one or even two, or even more, and still win it eventually. The idea is don't see a fourth game in this match. Four points in a row for Mew Hirano. And she can't quite keep that run 